legs today. We'll focus on squats right now, and then we will push on to a crazy like hamstrings conditioning, you know, type of day. So let's get these squats out the way. We're gonna probably go pretty heavy today, and then we're gonna mess up these hamstrings. Yeah, we're gonna mess up these hamstrings. You already know what it is. Thank you guys for tuning into the video. Today we got legs, hamstring focus, you know, getting a little warm up. You know, the older I get, I have to take my warm ups a lot serious. It sucks, bro. I'm about to be 30 this year. And like, remember like as a kid, you could just like start sprinting out of nowhere. Bro, if I did that right now, both my legs will fall off. Like for real. Like I, I'm so cautious about sprinting all of a sudden without warming up like ages of beyond you feel me but starting off with the red plates you know what i'm saying i throw the 55s on there now it used to be 45s but now i throw 55s on there um as you see i'm warming up but it's all about development um as you get your squat heavier and heavier i think you have to really take your pre squat ritual very serious um one thing about my squad is i'm a high bar squatter and i have to really focus on opening up my hips um that's something over the years that has continually gotten tight and i neglected for a bit but as i got back into rugby i really um i really just popped back into it and just like took it more serious you know one thing that kind of like motivated me for that was uh, watching The Rock a while ago. Uh, he was at the gym. I have a video actually, um, but he was at the gym. I seen him warm up. Dude took like 30 minutes to warm up. And I'm like, you know, that's some serious dedication, you know, because as you get older, like I said, you got to take these warm ups serious. Um, but there's no really set scheme for my squat. Today was kind of testing the waters. Um, I think I, bro, I don't even know how to calculate this, bro. I don't, I don't. I don't rebox on deck, but I don't know how to calculate this this way. I need Russ. Somebody tell me what this what this is. I got on a bar right now. Usually, if it was blues, I know that'd be 315. You feel me? So you know, whatever I'm squatting right now was a lot more than that, of course. But uh, also grab some Delco. Um, so yeah, and uh, once again, pushing up the weight, going up to I think was maybe 455. I think. Um, Squats felt really good today, like really good. Um, and I don't have any issues kind of just going in sometime to the gym and just going for a one rep max. Do I do it often? Um, yes, sadly I do. Sometimes I just want to go in to the gym and just be, I don't know. You know? <laughs> I can't even tell you what I be thinking sometimes. Um, if you guys didn't know, I've been doing a three times a week leg day. So I'll have uh, one leg day that'll be, you know, glued hamstring focus with a squat, back squat. Um, another leg day that'll be quad focus, you know, jump focus. Um, and then the third leg day will be for like lateral movement and hips. Um, it's been working out really good for me. I think this was like 635 right here that I'm squatting. Uh, bloop. Got that. Easy money. You already know. Hey, this belt, this belt has changed my life. I'm a belt user right now, chat. Like everybody. Yo, the belt has saved me in a lot of lifts lately. And I'm um, no longer too, like, scared to deadlift, you know? Oh, so let's get started with the hamstrings. With the hamstrings, I like to go high reps on the seated, doing seated hamstring curls. Um, this machine, just go as heavy as possible. We'll go from 15 to 20 reps for one first set, uh, 12 to 15 next, uh, 10 to 12 third, and then you know, uh, eight to 10 for the fourth, and continually upping the weight each set. Uh, it's really good if you want to build that bicep looking hamstring you know a lot of people have commented on my uh videos lately you know Teron, how your hamstring like biceps bro i kill it with the hamstring curls seriously and moving on now to the leg press rarely you will catch me doing leg presses with two legs you know um i think for something like this it is better suited for unilateral movements um 
single leg strength save the two-legged stuff for the squats for things like this if i have the ability to use one leg and the lift i'm going to take advantage to pretty much deal with those imbalances you know there's always one part of the body stronger than the other and that can lead to injury or problems when doing anything athletic so i did four sets of that eight reps single leg so now as you've seen in my other videos the nordic hamstring curls um this is before the idea of the belt that i had that you guys have probably seen on my instagram but i always say five sets five reps um some sometimes i'll do this three times a week you know with each leg day even even if it's not hamstring day just because the movement is so important and then we have these to focus on that pretty much the the um tendons in your your hamstrings behind your knees this is kind of like a quick heel strike on the bosu ball and we'll try to do this for five seconds for five sets and uh, that's pretty much it but uh, this is a pretty hard exercise you want to try to keep your hips off the ground your butt off the ground when you do this so once again as i said before you know you do i do deadlifts or straight leg deadlifts two legs yeah but today i want to put a little bit more of a athletic aspect to it a little bit more balanced aspect to it so we're doing unilateral um single leg rdls and um or straight leg deadlifts and uh eight reps each leg pretty much and i mean it's it's simple you know a simple exercise a simple exercise to help with unilateral strength um and great for anybody to do to focus on that hamstring strength as well good for sprinters jumpers anybody trying to be a little bit more athletic it balance is there's a lot of of positivity if you focus on you know balance with something going against you like a weight going against you um and so this is something that's very important that i do i do 20 reps four sets straight leg um leg lifts abs i like this machine because i can put like weight on it and still do like the straight legs and what this does is it builds the lower abs builds the abs in general but it also is stretching out the hamstring um and a lot of people don't realize that in the sprint it's very important for you to be able to contract and lengthen the hamstrings and your abs and your your front quad are pretty much used for that movement so this movement right here with the um leg lifts definitely hits all those muscles that are needed to be able to pick up those big old horse legs that you're running with and uh, it's very important to add those pretty much straight leg leg lifts so now we're doing straight leg chopper walks chopper sprints pretty much it's just like a straight leg kind of chop that we did but did about five sets um 10 yards i'm gonna say possibly 10 yards and this is pretty much just like a neuro neuromuscular kind of um activation before i start doing anything you know faster or sprinting see as you see i'm sprinting off right now so you kind of do that straight leg boom 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 and then sprint off a little bit i'm this turf is pretty iffy i'm i could slide on it so i wasn't really trying to like force a full-on 100 sprint but something also to add in is the backwards straight leg sprints now these are tough it's an awkward movement um, it'll take time to get used to it but definitely do that uh, five sets once again like 10 to 15 meters it'll help with your sprint speed help with building flexibility in the hips and the hamstrings and the quads as well um if you sprint forward you can sprint backwards as well but once again as you see sponsors noco bcas and caffeine and transparent labs definitely grab some transparent labs use code to ron for 10 percent off um yo hope you guys enjoyed hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i will catch you guys later